Good evening, Professor Patwari and Professor Roy. We are here to project demo for EC581 ASIC Design and Modeling Synthesis. Uh, we are the team of Design Automation for Physical Synthesis and I am here presenting Achil Chobisa with my other teammates Saroj Deva and Bhaskar Venkatramaya. The project overview is to write tickle scripts to automate the design synthesis. We would be giving user-defined inputs such as cells, ports, timing paths, etc. and get report and report the attributes as the output. The script has to be designed independent. We in the project write two scripts. First, to find the timing paths, total cells, count the total number of cells present in those paths and generate the histogram. The script two deals with finding the minimum and maximum timing margins for the cells and for the sequential cells. Application of our project is to accelerate the design process in design tools such as design compiler and IC compilers. Where do we fit in the design environment? This part is the front end. We work mo mostly on the back end of the design synthesis. Moving on to script one, the problem states to report the timing information for the user-defined inputs, which are the top end paths or and the worst negative slack as given by the user and our script would be generating the outputs as the total number of cells and generating a histogram and also a bar to display the total number of total number of times the cell appeared in those parts. For the script generation purpose we go we follow an algorithm where we first give the user-defined inputs as described earlier and based on those inputs we generate the outputs. Now moving on to the user arguments, uh, user can specify the paths that they want to um, view or the user can also control the worst negative slack and based on that we provide the uh, timing information as well as the uh, cells that are found in those paths. Now, this is kind of important. That's why I'm going to uh, talk about this in more detail. The report timing command provides a, uh, is a, is a report of timing information for the current design. And by default, the report timing command reports the single worst uh, setup uh, path in each uh, clock group. Uh, the command options uh, tell us uh, the number of paths reported, the types of path reported, and the amount of detail included in the report. And the timing path um, or the timing report starts by showing the primary command settings, uh, operating conditions, uh, path start points, path endpoints, as shown at the top here. And the table in the report shows a point by point accounting of the delays along the path and uh, along with the incremental contribution as well as the uh, path overall delays. And the path starts at top here at the register. And moving and continuing on along this uh, table, there's the sequential blocks along with their uh, delays, which is also um, one of our requirements for the script one. And finally, it shows the slack timing. In our script, in order to calculate the total cell count, uh, we get the attributes of each cell. First of all, we find the total number of paths uh, that are uh, asked by the user. And along that path, we count the total number of cells that are in the path and to do that we have an array which is an empty array in the beginning and along that path first of all we calculate uh, we find the cells in the path and if the cell is a combination cell then we uh, include that in the array if the cell is empty then the first cell that we find is the first element in the array now sec second time the cell is not empty or the uh, array is not empty so we first check if the next cell that we find is also the same cell that is already accounted for. If it is, then we increment the number of counts in that of that cell. If the cell is not already found before, then we uh, do a fresh entry of that cell. Um, with this way, we find the total number of cells in the array, and from that information, we can generate the histogram. The steps in generating the histogram. So, well, we just realized that we get the cell and the number of times it appeared in the array as a count. So it's of the form cell and count, cell followed by count and similarly all the cells present in the design. So what do we do? 
for every cell in the array we display a star asterisk symbol as a symbol of graph uh, which it this it symbolizes the number of times it is present uh, in the design so in the code for each element of the array this array which has the cell a and count cell count we go to another for loop which will count each from the zero to this number and it displays a star there and we go to the next line and do the similar for the other cells present in the design so our output looks of this kind both the tabular version and the histogram version here we observe that u16 is present twice and u12 is present eight times so u16 has two stars and u12 has eight stars do we have the same in our design yes if we observe here we can just see the same U16 has two parts and it has it has appeared twice in our histogram. All right, it's the time for demo now. Our program is already loaded and let's do a test. First of all, when the user wants to find the timing paths and just types the time uh, path timing, it gives the options. Now, there are two options. User can define either only path, only uh, worst negative slack, or both. About that, um, so we can do now. Let's look for first timing path. So by default, it shows uh, one path. So as you see, the first it shows is the um, path timing script from our script, and then it uh, lists all the options that I have already described before. And in this report, you can see all the cells. Now, as I described it before. The script also counts the number of uh, combination cells in the path found. So there are two cells, U19 and U11, and that are counted here as one here. Now let's see uh, what happens for two paths. Indeed, uh, the program said we input two paths, and it is shown here. And moving along, um, just keep an eye on the sequential uh, blocks here, uh, combination block rather, uh, U11 and U19. There are two blocks now. And for the second path, we have U19, U17, and U10. And you see the count shows two uh, U19 and then once. Now, uh, finally, you can um, also see the user putting um, worst negative slack less than 10, and that's what the report shows. And moving on, um, if the user puts worst negative slack uh, 10, let's say one path with negative worst slack of 10, and that's what the report says. It has one path specified and 10. Uh, what's name is slack and the rest of the information as already described before moving on to script 2 the project defines us to find the maximum minimum timing paths the inputs which the user gives are cells nets or any input or output ports defined in the design the outputs are to generate the minimum and maximum timing margin for each of the cells in the paths and to find the maximum timing margin for the on the other side of the sequentials. That's how we have divided a script as well. And as in script one, we use the same same simple and design to test and verify our script. Um, and a user can specify if they want to see the cells or nets or port, and according to that, we uh, show the timing reports. And in the script, we show um, if the user specifies. Uh, Path, let's say for instance, uh, or the cells along the path, well, then we, this is what we uh, sow the maximum and the minimum time. Moving on, this is the, what the output looks like, uh, maximum path, and it shows all the cells in that path along with their timing delays and um, rise time and fall time as well. All right, uh, the timing report uh, gives us the options to choose two from a, to a path, a, to a port, or from a port and a maximum for those ports as shown here. And then we also find the uh, maximum timing margin on the other side of sequential uh, that specifies both the maximum fall time and the maximum rise time. Uh, these are the outputs. Uh, the delay is maximum fall, and if it is maximum fall on the other side of the sequential, then this is what the value looks like. And if it is a maximum rise on the other side of the sequential, then this is what the uh, value looks like. And that's what I'm going to show in the demo now. Our uh, um, script is already loaded. So let me quickly run the script. 
for maximum minimum, uh, that's the default option, and it tells the user what are the options they have. Um, let's say, for instance, we want to first see what uh, ports are there. Um, import port. Yeah, okay, so sorry about that. So report port, these are the ports that are in the uh, module that we have loaded. And so let's find the maximum timing for uh, for one path, and by default it's one path, uh, from uh, A for instance. Oh sorry, uh, it should be from port. Uh, the script already catches that and this is a good thing. We don't have to worry about that much. So all right, uh, this is the timing paths, and first thing that we see is uh, we are reporting the timing from port A, and it calls internally ti report timing, uh, providing the um, part uh, port information. And from that, you can see here um, input port is this, and all these uh, uh, cells that are connected to the input port and the timing associated with them, and um, by also by default it shows the minimum and the maximum timing delay. Uh, this the top one was the uh, minimum uh, maximum and the bottom one is the minimum and also we saw here the uh, maximum margin on the other side of the sequential in the maximum timing paths um, and that shows both the minimum this so this one is for maximum fall and moving down here this one is for minimum um, max this one is for maximum rise and sorry this one is for maximum rise and the uh, top one is um, maximum fall Okay, uh, and we also have other options uh, if we want to know what other options are. Let's go to max mean. Um, let's say all nits that we want to see in the path. And fair enough, we have maximum one path and all the nits in between those uh, cells. And finally, um, to show you our cells, max mean. Um, let's define sales this time so it defines all the sales with in the maximum path along with all the uh, maximum and minimum timing uh, this one is for max and then down here is for mean and that what it shows and that's what is required for script 2. so uh we just saw the two scripts the way we built it up and the way we ran it and we showed a live demo of it where we achieved all the functionalities. So what were the design steps that we followed? So we first understood the specifications and then we searched and researched the DC commands from the man pages and from the DC user guide. And then we developed the command line arguments as required to suit our requirements. And we developed the tickle script around, the, around it for tickle syntax say using a for loop for each loop, creating an array, creating a list, creating a hash for key and values. Then we tested the typical code and tested our outputs. So what were the design challenges face? We are not, will not specify all the design challenges, but some of the design challenges that we faced was, we had a lot of random input thoughts, but how do we, how we thought about it? For example, in the histogram, we had many ways of doing it. Should we use the tool generated histogram or go, go for the download packages or go for, uh, for uh, write our own code with professor uh, with professor's proper feedback? We were able to do it. And passing the values from a list again was a challenge. Coming up with cell delays, passing it again was a challenge. These are the references for our project uh, that we uh, referred online with key page and the tickle command scripts. And Lord, last but not the least, thank you. We had a great time doing this project, thinking about it, start, starting from something so random to build up such an elegant script was fantastic. Thanks a lot.